good morning students in the last section we told about the postulates of kinetic energy and uh, we told the gas exerts pressure on the walls of the container and i gave you the equation for pressure equation for pressure is 1 by 3 rho v bar square where v bar square is the rms velocity v bar is the rms velocity so i can simply write like this p is equal to 1 by 3 rho v square if i simply write v square that means it is uh, that v is rms velocity okay simply writing v square means it is v rms square itself okay so p is 1 by 3 rho v rms square or 1 by 3 rho v square now onwards i am not uh, i will not write rms here i i am simply writing v square that is rms velocity itself okay now why do gas exert pressure on the walls of the container they will ask you a question like this explain based on the kinetic theory based on the postulates of kinetic theory explain why gas exert a pressure on the walls of the container so we already studied according to kinetic theory the gas molecules are in random motion when they move they will hit with the walls of the container so as they are hitting with the walls of the container there is a change in momentum okay when they hit with the walls of the container there will be a change in the momentum and according to newton's second law of motion rate of change of momentum is called force so due to the change in momentum rate of change of momentum momentum by time that will give you a force so gas molecules will exert a force on the walls of the container what is force per unit area force per unit area is called pressure so because of the collision there is a change in momentum and rate of change of momentum is called force and force by area is called pressure therefore we can say the gas exert pressure on the walls of the container so that is how you have to give the explanation now here we are going to do the relation between pressure and kinetic energy okay we are going to do the relation between pressure and kinetic energy we already know the pressure of the gas p is equal to 1 by 3 rho v bar square now kinetic energy kinetic energy is e i will write it as e which is half mv square this is kinetic energy of 1 mole of gas now if i want kinetic energy per molecule kinetic energy per molecule of gas that is e dash i write it as e dash which is e by volume capital v this is small v which is velocity don't get confused with small v and capital v okay so e dash is equal to half m small v square divided by capital v what is mass by volume density mass by volume is density so e dash can be written as 1 by 2 rho v square small v velocity so i i got e dash and i got p and i am go just going to divide both the equations so p by e dash p by e dash 1 by 3 rho v square by 1 by 2 rho v square so you will get 2 by 3 so e dash so p is equal to 2 by 3 e dash or we can say e dash is equal to 3 by 2 p
So, this is the relation connecting kinetic energy per molecule, kinetic energy per molecule and pressure. So, you can take down this. Uh, we have divided this by volume. So, you make it like this kinetic energy here, do not write kinetic energy per molecule, you have to write kinetic energy per volume. Okay, just make a correction here, it is kinetic energy per volume because we have divided kinetic energy by volume. So, uh, finally, we are getting pressure is equal to 2 by third of average kinetic energy per volume of the gas. Okay, that is the concept. Now, we are going to see how to find kinetic energy per molecule. So, just now we found kinetic energy per volume of gas. Now, expression for average kinetic energy per molecule of gas. Okay. Expression for average kinetic energy per molecule of gas. So, again we know the equation P is equal to 1 by 3 rho V square and what is the equation for the kinetic energy? E is equal to half m V square, okay, half m V square that is the equation for the kinetic energy. Just now we uh, did that. Now, in this equation for pressure, I can write mass by volume, this is density, density can be written as mass by volume into V square, small v is velocity, capital V is volume. So, 1 by 3 m by V into V square and uh, this volume I am taking to this side into the LHS. So, P into V is equal to 1 by 3 m V square. Okay. Now, I am multiplying this equation with 2 and divide the equation with 2. So, P V is equal to half m V square into 1 by 3, okay, half m v square into 1 by 3. You know what is half m v square? Kinetic energy, right? So, I will be writing P v is equal to Oh, here there is 1 2, P V is equal to 2 by 3 E, half M V square is E and this E is average kinetic energy of 1 mole of gas, not 1 molecule, 1 mole of gas, half M V square, average kinetic energy of 1 mole of gas. So, P V is equal to 2 by 3 into E, this is the expression we got. Now, P V for 1 mole of gas, P V is equal to R T, right? P V is equal to R T. Therefore, we can write R T is equal to 2 by 3 E. Therefore, E is equal to 3 by 2 R T. And we can say that the kinetic energy per molecule is per mole of gas is directly proportional to absolute temperature E proportional to T. Okay, E is equal to 3 by 2 R T or E proportional to T. This is kinetic energy per mole of gas. Now, how will I find kinetic energy per molecule? 
1 mole of gas contains Avogadro number of molecules. So, how will we find kinetic energy per molecule? Divide this by Avogadro number. So, I am doing like that. So, here I will write kinetic energy per mole. Now, kinetic energy per molecule. Kinetic energy per molecule is uh, I will write E bar that is E divided by Avogadro number and A is the Avogadro number. So, E bar is equal to 3 by 2 RT by E. 3 by 2 RT by Na. What is R by Na? We studied in the last video R by Na. R by Na is called Boltzmann's constant. So, I will write R by Na is equal to Kb, Boltzmann's constant. Therefore, E bar is equal to 3 by 2 kbt. So, average kinetic energy per molecule is 3 by 2 kbt. Okay. So, when the temperature increase, average kinetic energy also will increase and if average kinetic energy will increase, the velocity of gas molecules also increases. So, this is the kinetic interpretation of temperature. So, if they ask you write the kinetic interpretation of temperature, you can write this, uh, this derivation itself and then you say when temperature increases, the average kinetic energy per molecule also increases. So, the velocity of the gas molecules will increase. Okay. So, that is all about this topic. Thank you.